So we're back with the SRT4 today. We are going to be working on the SRT4. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be modding it. No, we're not gonna get the mod it today because directly after filming the SRT4 is back video on the way home, the front passenger side wheel started making a horrible, completely unfamiliar noise, well, unfamiliar to me. Um, it sounded like uh, like when you went to slow down, like under, oh God, I'd probably say under 20 miles an hour, like rubber was rubbing somewhere. Uh, so I immediately pulled over, made sure the tire wasn't rubbing anywhere. Nothing, nothing up under there that I can see is rubbing without. I haven't lifted the car up on a jack or anything like that, which we are going to do today. Um, and it also makes like a clunking, growling type sound, like a wheel bearing, but it makes it like a very, very audible clunk. So it's kind of like maybe a CV's bad, maybe a wheel bearing's bad. Luckily, I went to Miller Import Parts yesterday and picked up a knuckle just in case it has a good wheel bearing in it. Just in case we lift this thing up and that's what it is. Uh, this car has 101, or sorry, 201,000 miles on the shell. So um, it's quite possible something like that could go bad. That's not unrealistic at this point. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get up on Jack's, put her, Jack stands up under and we're gonna see what's going on. I've looked like everywhere I've been here to try to find the problem and everything honestly looks pretty normal. I can see maybe the brake being an issue, but both pads are exactly where they need to be. The rotor doesn't feel rough. Nothing really gives away why the SRT is being not very friendly to me. Uh, I do see a little bit of play in the bearing, but the hub that I actually got from Miller's has the exact same thing. So I don't think that's gonna be abnormal. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start tearing into it and see if we can start finding any obvious problems because not taking it apart and not looking into it, obviously we're not going to find it. So we're going to start taking it apart. What you just seen was me actually putting the wheel back on after getting the new knuckle on with the new wheel bearing. That was the knuckle that I had got from Miller Import Parts. So the old wheel bearing was bad. The reason I didn't show me putting this one on is for the fact that we were running out of uh, daylight. We were pretty much getting late and I went to take the rotor off the old knuckle, well the rotor and the spacer off the old knuckle and then put it on this one. Um, the, the spacer was completely seized, the nuts were completely seized. I went to go get my impact. So, oh, you know, this ain't that big a deal. Just hit it with an impact, be good. Well, my impact was here at my house. My house. We was not at my house. Um, so, basically, I don't even know why it's here. I don't even have an air compressor here. I have no idea why that's here. I guess I left it in my tool bag and just took it and put it in my toolbox. I don't know. So, anyway, we, we managed to get it off. We put it in a vise and then wound up using a breaker barb. It took a lot of work. They are now anti-seized on. Basically, we put anti-seized on the threads. That way, we know we're good and uh, they're torqued on but uh, uh, luckily everything's good it was the wheel bearing um, i was 90 percent sure it was the wheel bearing especially to get it under and look so um she runs great now we can start modding it and i have so many awesome parts on the way of this car so if you haven't hit the subscribe button guys and you've watched this channel a few times hit that subscribe button 
I got some awesome stuff in store. I'm not going to say anything about it yet until it gets here. Um, most of it's supposed to show up this week. But anyways, guys, there we go. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Guys, drop a comment in the comment section below. And make sure, even though it was a short video, and you can see the new knuckle going back on. Holy crap, that's bright. Drop a like. Nitro Kid 98, guys. Thanks for watching.